Ladies and gentlemen, I give you my friend, Dan Rather. Dan Rather and his producing partner, Mary, collaborated on trying to get to the truth about something. When the effort to get to the truth went counter to the interests of the network, they went against one of their own. What's our next move? I might have something for the election. It's almost surreal to see someone of Robert Redford's reputation playing you in a role. I'm still trying to get my head around that. He's a very specific character. You're going to be playing that character, and you have to be careful not to make it a caricature. Tonight, we have new information on the president's military service. The attack on Marion and on Dan was one of the first in the blogosphere. Um, and I think that was why it was so shocking for them. She was the power behind the scenes working with them. But they were working very closely together. He depended on her. He was loyal to her. She was loyal to him. That's something I found very strong in the piece. It's really the emotional relationship between the two of them and how they connect to each other as people that I found so fascinating. It was amazing for me to meet her in person because her position as a journalist had been so attacked. Dan and I and all the people who worked with us were tremendously proud of our body of work. And we went from being revered to reviled. Why did you get into journalism? Curiosity. Why did you get into it? You. They're my favorite kind of movies, kind of movies that Robert Redford made in the 70s. And this kind of script that is this level of quality and is about a true event is really rare. The crack team that we're involved in believes in journalism and believes in truth and believes in truth in journalism. And I think they hold to that idea. I've always liked to work best with writer-directors because they really have a point of view and they know what they want. I think the script is what brought this cast together. This is like the summit of Hollywood. It just doesn't get any better. You really get the sense with Bob that he's interested in the whole endeavor. And that's something that I really respect and admire. I hope I've found a small window in the freight train of the story to try and bring the real-life Mary's vivacity into the piece. They do not get to do this. They do not get to smack us just for asking the question. I hope that this film would be reminding people that at one time he really did represent the best of American efforts to get to the truth. Here's to a great story. <laughs>